Hello and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial brought to you by Fusion Extreme. Today we're going to talk about sepia toning and this effect uh, that, I, that you see on these two images here that um, I get asked about a lot when I show my portfolio. People are always saying, how did you do that? Did you put a light behind Marley here? No, there was no light behind Marley. Um, uh, the sun was a little bit behind her, but mostly overhead, as you can see by her shadow and um, and the light on her shoulders and the highlights in her hair. And the same thing here. Here, all I had was one light uh, shining down the uh, the driftwood here. That is all real. The clouds and everything are real uh, in both images. So what I want to do is I want to show you the effect or the technique that I used to get this effect. It's actually very, very simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull up another image here. This one of... American Idol's Diana DeGarmo. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get that same effect with her here. Very first thing I'm going to do before I go anywhere is I'm going to use my Dodge and Burn tool. That's this tool right here. It might look like that, but you want to make sure you're on the Burn tool right there. And you want to go to Highlights. Because what I'm trying to do, see all this white behind her? I don't want that to be quite so white. She's not going to look like she's got that glowing effect that Marley had. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and burn those light areas in and make them darker. All around her, not her, just around her. I'm going to go ahead and bring all of that in like that. Great. Just like that. Now what I'm going to do is I want to desaturate the image. Now there are a lot of ways to do this. I'm going to go image, adjust, desaturate. I've just pulled all of the color out of the image. That's all I did was take all of the color saturation out of the image. And now I want to make, give it a sepia tone. Now what I'm going to do with that, the way I like to do it, everybody's got their own techniques. I don't like the sepia tone that's available from Photoshop. So what I do is I come up to image, adjust, color balance. And all I do, starting with highlights, is I'll add a little red and a little yellow. A little red and a little yellow and then down in the shadows. A little red and a little yellow. Now that's too yellow, not enough red. Let's pull that back just a little bit on the yellow. And the highlights, let's pull that back just a little bit. There we go. I, I like that. Let's go a little more red. Alright. Now, this is the way I tend to like it. You see how she's already glowing. She already has a glow about her, but I'm not done yet. I want to go back and I still want to burn in some of this just to really make that effect pop. Really want to make that effect pop. All right. Again, you don't really want to get her as much as you want to get right in around her. And uh, that was just the highlights. Now I want to do the same thing with the midtones. I want to burn them in a little bit. Let's get the ground real good here right around her and her dress and then the same thing with the shadows and the shadows are going to be very strong here because of the dark areas it's going to burn them in big time so anyway you're ending up with that effect now I would tend to like it a little more yellow um, come back adjust my color a little bit make it a little more yellow there we go and I think that looks good now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over to my dodge and burn I'm going to come to dodge I want to dodge her face just a little bit. What dodge does is it lightens it up just a little. I'm working with the mid-tones here. Let's also do the highlights. Look at that. Look at She looks like she's almost glowing. I'm going to do the same thing with the dress on the highlighted areas. I want them to look just like they're, about, just like they're popping just a little more. They're popping out. And there you have that effect of sepia toning the background while she still looks like she's just glowing, standing in the middle of it. It's that simple. That blue sky now looks terrible and stormy, and uh, everything looks looks very nice. You can even darken the areas in just a little bit, even at this point. You can go back to burn. You can darken your highlight areas even more to give it even more of an ominous effect, which, again, that's, that's pretty strong and powerful. But there you have the effect that I use. Uh, when sepia toning and trying to get the model to look like she's just glowing. It's very simple, easy for everyone to do. Um, make, like I always say, make it your own. Find the ways to use it, to use this tip, and uh, put your own personality into it. 
Thanks a lot. Thank you for tuning in to another Photoshop tutorial from Fusion Extreme.